Okay. And when I was a little kid, I did learn that the Mag Lab entirely protects us from hurricanes. <laughs> and I've met this physicist who disagrees with me. And the one thing that people have a hard time mm. with understanding is just how friggin' enormous a hurricane is, mm. um, and just how much energy is in a hurricane. Mm -hmm. um, so if you think about a nuclear bomb, a nuclear bomb releases an enormous amount of energy. Mm -hmm. And if we dropped a nuclear bomb in a hurricane, the hurricane would not care at all. So, so the mag lab's got to be able to take care of it then. So the, but the mag lab has so much less energy than a nuclear weapon does. Mm -hmm. um, so even though it's fun to think about, the magnet, mm -hmm. the magnet itself isn't big enough to actually affect the, the trajectory of a, of a hurricane because really hurricanes are just so enormous. And so how big did you say the field was? Uh, the, the actual field, mm -hmm. so it's 45 Tesla, mm -hmm. which is an enormous amount of magnetic energy. So that's a million times bigger than your fridge magnet. But the actual cavity is only maybe yay big. So the whole device that they make is maybe a story tall and maybe 20 mm -hmm. feet across mm -hmm. is the entire device. And the actual high magnetic field is only, you know, 10 or 15 inches in volume. Wow, it's incredible to learn how the MagLab protects us from hurricanes. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>